prior, and hopefully you're going to get a lot out of this and the different topics that we're going to talk about. We're not really going to be about hockey, which is kind of fun to mention, but other stuff outside of hockey. Um, so before we uh, get started, I want to introduce someone very special who came all the way from Ottawa, from the nation's capital today, to especially because she believes in sport, but especially because she believes in girls and women in sport and that they should have opportunities just like everyone else. So I would like to introduce uh, our Minister of Sport and Science for all of Canada, Minister Kirsty Duncan, who was also an athlete herself at one time. And she's probably one of the biggest supporters of athletes in this country. She was at the Olympic Games. She takes the time to talk to athletes, to talk to people in sport, and she really cares about making sure that we have a great opportunity as Canadians to play and to be really good at sport if we want to. So, Minister Duncan, I'm going to turn it over to you. Come on up. Okay. Thanks, Haley. Hi, everyone. Hi. Oh, you got you better than that. Make some noise. My name is Kirsty, and I'm the Minister of Sport and Science, as you've heard, and I am so happy to be here. I've heard about WICFest for months, and I've wanted to come and meet you. I want to begin by saying thank you to Haley. Should we give Haley a big round of applause? <laughs> Haley, as you guys know, how many Olympi Olympic medals does Haley have? Yes, hon. Okay, how many do you think she has? Yes, love? Five. Five, excellent. Does she won world championships? How many of those has she won? Three? As you think of, I think it's seven. Oh, you got some help from her over there. Now, how many of you have a role model? Oh, I'd like to hear that. You tell me about your role model, love. Okay, you gonna tell me? Who's one? What's your name? Very nice. Excellent. Thank you, Quinn. Hun, yes? Your name? DK Subban. He actually is born, he's from the riding, the community I serve back in Toronto. Two more people. Who's your hero? Oh, <laughs> Natalie Spooner might be over there. Give a big wave, Natalie. <laughs> and I'll take one more. Who's going to tell me who's your role model? Well, you know what? I'm going to tell you my role model. Would you like that? Yes. Well, my role model is this incredible lady. It's an incredible lady. And she's a mom. She's the mom to Noah, and she's going to school, and she's going to be a doctor. Do you know who my role model is? Yeah. Haley Wickenheiser. She's a mom. She's a doctor. She's going to be a doctor. <laughs> she's an Olympian, and she's a world champion. And you know why I think Haley Wickenheiser rocks? because she's got this really great superpower. Do you know what her great superpower is? Her great superpower is that she loves to give back. She loves to give back to people like you and to her community. So will you guys go superpower? Yeah! Say superpower. <laughs> superpower! What is Haley's superpower? She gives back. She gives back. And I think that's an amazing superpower. So if there's one thing I can say to you, I want you to know, everyone in this room, you are the most important people in the world. Do you know that? You are the most important people in the whole world. And I want you to know that when things are hard, that I am cheering you on. So if the game doesn't go so well or it's a hard practice, I'm cheering you on. And when you do great things, when you come here, this is a great thing, I am cheering you on. Will you remember who are the most important people in the whole world? Us. 
I can't hear you. Us. Yes. Who, who will be cheering you on on the hard days? You. <laughs> okay. I want to get as many children involved in sport as possible. And I want to get as many girls involved in possible. Should we all give Haley a great big hand? Say, Haley Rock. Yeah. Haley Rock. Yeah. And I can't cut, wait to come around to your tables, to meet all of you, to hear about the teams you play on, to hear what positions you play, okay? Yay, team. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. pretty young to maybe not realize this, but for the Minister of Sport for the whole country of Canada to take the time to come to see you, it's a big deal. Because they're really busy and they get asked to do a million things every day. So it's a big deal. There's someone else that's coming later, but I don't think he's as big a deal as the Minister of Sport personally. But you can meet him later. Do you know? Yeah. But there's someone even cooler here also. You. No. <laughs> My former teammate, but she still plays and I'm retired, but she came here also to hang out with you guys today. And her name is Natalie Spooner. Come on up, Natalie. <laughs> so we played together in the 2014 Olympics as the world champions, Chips, and now uh, Natalie is still playing and um, is one of my dear friends, both on and off the ice. But Spoons, I just uh, thought maybe I'd ask you a question because the minister brought it up too, is what do you think your superpower is? That's a tough one. I think over the years, my superpower is probably my positivity. I think um, in all situations, whether we're winning or losing, I try to stay positive. Um, you know, there's those tough days when you don't want to be in the gym or you're tired, but um, you just have to spin it and, and have a positive outlook. So I think that's one of the biggest things. Obviously, playing with Haley in 2014, kind of, kind of a funny story. She was a little more intense than me. <laughs> I like to go out there and have fun. She could get intense sometimes, especially when we were down. We, so her face kind of go, and she maybe get a little bit of foam in the mouth. And me and my line mate at that time would go, okay, you gotta go score a ball now, you gotta go score a ball. So we go out and we try to make that happen and kind of have some fun and um, take it all for the back. Yeah, have some fun on the ice. Yeah, exactly. having fun. Well, it's awesome to have you here today because you're a super duper leader and a great teammate. One of my favorite teammates that I've ever played with. And so Natalie's gonna be coming around after us to some of the tables. So after it's over, if you guys wanna get a picture of her autograph, she'll be here to do that, okay? So let's give her a round of applause. All right, so uh, our last guest today is really uh, the boss of the show. And I would like to introduce uh, the CEO of Nutrition International, uh, Joel Spicer. He's gonna come up and tell you girls exactly what and how we're gonna do all of this today. So come on, Joel. Thanks a lot. So everyone, let's try something a little bit different right now. Why don't you all stand up, please? Everyone stand up. Stand up. We play a little game. The game is, if I say a statement and it's true for you, you can sit down. Okay? We're going to see how many people are left standing. So sit down if you have a say in the groceries that come into your house, in picking those groceries. If you have a say, just go ahead and sit down. Good? Now, if you know something about nutrition because your parents, your teachers, or your coaches have shared that information with you, have a seat if you know anything about nutrition. Holy cow, I didn't even get through all my questions. Are you all sitting down? No. No? There's one more. Awesome. Okay. So if your parents prepare the same food for you as they do for your brother and your father, you can sit down. Different food. Okay. This is a challenge. I'll see this. If you're hungry at school, you have a snack or meal available, so you don't have to stay hungry. Okay, you are basically the hero of this game. I just, you can go ahead and sit down, thank you. So the point is that while in Canada, we are far from perfect, the key thing is in most countries, if you ran this exercise, most of the girls would still be standing up. And the point we're trying to make here is that when we think of words like nutrition, we think about body image, we think about diet, but the reality is that many girls around the world can't even get the food and nutrition they need to get in the game in the first place. And that's why we're here. You might be wondering, so what's this guy who travels around the world focusing on nutrition programs doing here at WIPFEST? WIPFEST is about getting girls in the game. And the point I want to make to you is 
girls in Canada are deeply connected to girls all around the world, right? Because when girls can't get the nutrition they need, they can't grow, they can't be healthy, they can't stay in school, they can't go on to, to earn their own money. In many countries that we see, girls eat last and they eat least. They're put at the bottom of the line. And we can change this. Because it really blows my mind when I think about the fact that there are 600 million adolescent girls in the world right now. And one out of every three suffers from malnutrition. One out of every three girls in the world. That's terrible. We can't allow that to happen. And that's why one of the things that inspires me is hearing from young people all around the world. Wherever we go, we meet with young groups of people. We ask, how are you changing your communities? What are the things you wish were different? And that helps teach us. So today, you are going to be hearing from a number of champions. You've heard from a few already um, who are changing their communities. You're also going to have the chance to inspire one another as you think about what you can do to change in your communities so that you can get more girls in the game. So thanks very much to all of you, and I look forward to going table to table as well as the minister. Thanks, Gary. Thanks, everybody. All right, thanks, Joel. So now what we're going to do is we're going to meet a couple of our community champions. These girls are going to come up. They're girls just like you, and they're going to share a couple of stories with you. So I would like to invite up Nicola, Anaya, and Bill Preet. Four times now, and I've also learned that 
Um, it has to be a holistic approach, and it has to include nutrition, too. Um, you can't lift heavy weights, nor can you play hockey if you don't have the right nutrients. So the programs also include healthy snacks, and we have special little banquets at many of the trainings uh, so that they can lift and feel good and also excel in school. And the programmings as well have um, scholarships. So it's a holistic approach to enable them to be uh, pursue their athletics, their academics, and just be the best girls that they can possibly be. So there's just a few photos of me working with the different communities and just seeing girls do things that they never thought they could do really inspires me. Uh, and I think that all of you can be leaders in your communities as well. It doesn't happen overnight. It is small actions all the time. Uh, for example, when I lift heavy weights, it didn't just happen overnight. It takes hours of practice, just like your hockey. You don't just automatically score the goals. You have to attend practice. You have to keep pushing forward. And I think that's how we can create change too. All of us working together, little bit, little bit every day.